Whoa, lol. Apparently, it's like the audio is like perfectly fine. I had to turn GLaDOS up actually. What a fatty confusing me with her mind tricks. I'm gonna set my timer. Timer, I said. There you go. 13 minutes. Start. Hide. Pause. Done. Start. Okay. Ooh, look. Half life train noises. Yay. Anyway, I just thought, would you guys want me to do Half-Life? Tell me right now, Half-Life. And Half-Life 2. I mean, not Half-Life, but... <gasps> Companion Cube, yes. Oh. No! Yeah, what? There's no meaning to life anymore. No way. Yes! Let's, okay, where do we have to go? If you get up there. Oh, what? No. I fizzled that one too. Oh well, we have warehouses. Oh look, another one. Sweet. Things. She's gonna give me more. Absolutely more. worthless. I'm Stay. happy to get rid of them. Good boy. Oh, look, Wheatley. Yay. Now I can be like bam, and then bam. Companion cube, I missed you. Huzzah! Tally ho! Kumbaya, my lord, Kumba. Something like that, I don't even know. Fail. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ooh, wah! Hee hee. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't Companion Cube, I got that hint. I got that hint. Guys, it's all good. Don't worry. I got this. I got that hit from hint from Gladys. She's like, lol, I want to give it. Oh, love you. Hit. Oh, wrong way. I need to go this way. No! What? I think that one was about to say, I love you. Uh -huh. We are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. <laughs> uh, they're my feelings. <coughs> but yeah, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Would you want me to do those? Because I... I have a bunch of Steam games, like stuff like that, but you know, so like. This next test involves yeah. emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Uh, and guys, like Oblivion and all those old other games that I kind of stopped doing, I will be doing them again eventually. I just kind of wanted to get you guys like, lol, dude, look, these are some games I'm gonna start playing Wait, eventually, and you're like, alright, cool. Some but yeah, no, what's that for? Oh, I bet I know what that's for. Smart. Where's the thing? Look, balls. Skills. I am Charlie Sheen hardcore like, though. Zap. Stop watching porn and get back on your feet. Need porn. That's why I have a girlfriend. Oh, no, that is so true, though. Ugh. Yuck. Whoa. How did, oh, okay. Yay. What? Uh, that was confusing. That made no sense. Jump. Start. Uh. 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 Uh, the Return, Chapter 3. Scary. Dog, shut up! I will kill you with the frying pan! My parents left to go play disc golf because they're fucking weird, and my dog is obsessed with my mother. So she's like, I ran my mommy. So it's so annoying. So I'm like, shut No, I hate this one. This one takes like three hours to get through. Damn it. Wheatley. Well, I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. 
Try it now. What happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was Wheatley. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. Wow, really? You just called me fat. Very healthy. Try it now. Boom. Damn it. You seem to have defeated its load bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the seat. That's what you're supposed to do in the first place. Changing the weight's not gonna help fat chick. God dang. Make fun of me so much. Make me feel bad about myself. I hope someone actually loves me. I'm just kidding. No one loves me. Anyway, go look. Yay, I'm smart. A jaw. What? A jaw. Yes. Yay. Okay. Boom. I'm smart. I knew we would have to be coming back to this thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and fall right down and be like, boom. That, that's how ninja peoples do their work. We go ahead and go like, ah, oh, no, that's not. Go like that. <coughs> and have the red laser coming out of there, because that makes sense like that so that will work out perfectly fine but um let's see how will i do this but then you need to uh, oh i can't do that right now oops first lane up in the sky you got me champagne i want to majestically Dream, kind of fantasy, or something like glamorous, flouse, flouse, glamorous, stupid Fergie. That's a good song though. I have nostalgia for that. From like when I was like in fifth grade, there was this chick, Sydney Azell. Like, I was like, lol, what are girls? I'm so gross. They're so grody and stuff. But then I was like, never mind. They really aren't. And then she was the most beautiful girl ever seen before at school. Anyway, on in elementary school and I was like damn and so like I was like I don't really know how to just I don't really know how to describe it but like I don't know I guess you could say love at first sight I guess but I don't really love her but I still kinda like her and stuff now but man she kinda I'm more like scene punk rebellion emo skater and she's all preppy preppy good good you know but like i was her best friend and i was like whipped like hardcore like i was like wrapped around her finger i hate to say it but i really was because i wasn't really used to girls and everything i was like a roll shut up gladys i'm in the middle of a story shut up jeez ruining my story it's a bitch jeez god make me feel bad Anyway, how do I get over... Hmm. Oh, I know it, but anyway. And then, um, and it was the era of passing notes to ask out a girl. You you got, you got, guys know what I mean. Don't even lie. I know, you all know that you've done that at least once in your life before. At least before. But anyway. So, like, um, I didn't, I can't remember exactly what happened though, which is a shame because it kind of sucks because I kind of want to remember everything about it but I remember we were watching Babe that movie about the pig in my class I remember that for sure and it was about and um it was um we were sitting there it was in the dark everyone was up at the front but me and her were in the back like just like sitting there just talking and stuff and I don't know why this is, like, so amazing to me. I guess because I was chi a child, so it was a sweet gesture, I guess you can say. Like, if it was someone else's child, I'd be like, oh, so precious. But now I'd be like, lol, why would I do that? But I found two pennies, and I gave her one of the pennies, and I kept the other one. And to this day, I still have that penny, actually. You know, it sounds a little weird, but don't think me of an obsessive freak, dude. But I'm, because I'm not, but... I still have that penny too. 
kind of sucks, but she she still has it too because I've heard her talking to it about her friends. But I mean, I still like her and everything, but I don't talk to her anymore because, like I said, we're two different sides of the um the um what the f two different sides of the um equation. I guess you can say it. It's not really that big of a deal to me though. I'm not like obsessed with her. Like, oh god, I need you to have her in my life. Ugh. But um, like, it's <coughs> how am I gonna say it? I mean, I know she still has feelings for me and stuff because I can see the longing and the painful looks that sh I can like. I can see her start to tear up every time she looks at me and stuff. And it might sound braggy, but I don't want it to. But that's really what happens. Like, I, if whenever we like have eye contact, I always get like a deep down feeling of like nostalgia, and I can see it in her face too. But like, her all of her friends used to like made fun of me for it too. Made fun of her for dating me actually, because in elementary school I was a small nerdy kid, which erupted into like this handsome, stunning, generous, nice, skater, punk, rebellion, anarchy scene dude. Not bragging at all, I'm just trying to describe what people have called me and whatnot. And yeah, so, but I know she's never felt the same way, like, they're like, it'll hit Dylan, your old ex-boyfriend, she's like, yeah, it is, isn't it? And they're like, what's wrong? And she's like, never mind, and I'm like, oh. Sorry, maybe you should just like talk to me. But you know, it's whatever. But what's happening? What? 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 How? Oh. Okay, so I have to go over here. No, that's not what I'm supposed to do either. Okay. But yeah, guys, I like sharing my life stories with you. Glamorous flowers, flowers. No, I'm just kidding. Well, not really. I'm not kidding. That song makes me sad still, even though it's by Fergie and everything. It's not really that much of a sad song, but I just feel it sometimes because memories come back. But I don't like. I don't know why that song has that effect on me because it just reminds me of her. It's not that I've heard her listen to it or I listened to it when I asked her out or something. Nah, I just asked her out, and that song was, and just, I heard that song in my sister's car one day while she was, like, driving me to, like, the mall or something, just go hang out with my friends, maybe, I'm not sure, really, and then I started thinking, I was like, wow, this reminds me of her, because this is something she would listen to, and I guess from that day, I always felt that way, but, I mean... Whatever you know, maybe if it if it's meant to be, eventually we'll talk again. I'm kind of having the feeling that is a fat turret. Lol. Anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this nostalgia moment. Hopefully you guys like this. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, like this video, please. Anyway, guys, see you later and peace out.